Thank you, man. Uh -huh. Appreciate it. Let's go. Yeah. Well, they did. Oh, we got Pull the right there. This right here is where they would have gone. Yeah. They would have gone right through that door right there. Huh? We still, we got to the back entrance. Can't beat that. So when they said Elvis has left the building, he literally left the building this way. Yeah. It would have zipped out here. So friends, this is the Richmond Coliseum. It's daytime now. We're taking a look, see. I wish that person would drive a little slower. They're about to bust the speed limit. I do. So there they are. And I don't have a photo booth. I bought this trailer in Maryland because I couldn't find a U-Haul to rent. Hmm. So friends, we're at Richmond, Virginia, and you see it says Altria Theater right there. I'm gonna zoom in so you can see that. And then I want you to look up here. Look at those domes up there. This was the mosque theater when Elvis played here, and there's an iconic photograph of Elvis actually right here. In the photograph, you'll see DJ Fontana standing here leaning against the corner. You'll see Elvis standing there and fans standing there, as well as the young lady that came here to visit Elvis. Now, I want you to notice something. Uh, uh, Al Wertheimer said that there was people standing below Elvis's dressing room window looking in the window at him. So if you look to your left, you see there's a ramp going up. That ramp goes up to three windows and you see two windows and you see it's kind of around the corner. And what I'm gonna show you is this. You see there's a door to the right of the ramp too down low, check this out. There's the door. There's the two windows, there's the three windows. The ramp is no longer here. The ramp used to go into right there. There was literally, in fact, you could see a little bit of the shape of the ramp right here. You could see kind of a, an angle right there and where it was flat. So the girls were standing on the flat looking in that window and right here is what it looked like from the window. You could see them standing on the ramp. That picture was taken out the window. You see the ramp to the left, or actually I'm telling you wrong, in front of the girl to the right, you see her hands are on the edge of the ramp, which would have been somewhere right there. So they were standing here peering in that window right there at Elvis. So that was his dressing room right there. Now we're going to see if we can find somebody here so we can get in. We really don't see anybody. This is where the parking would be right here. And I haven't seen a soul. But we're going to look around. So friends, we're in Stay Richmond, tuned. Virginia, and we are at the Altria Theater. Back in the 50s, it was known as the Mosque Theater. You see this dome on the top right here. This thing is giant. It's got these domes on the four corners. It is a really, really large building. 
Now, an iconic photo happened literally right here. DJ Fontana is standing there. Elvis is standing there. That is the photo. You see DJ right on the corner. Elvis standing there holding court. The young lady that came to visit Elvis, you see her standing there that Al Wertheimer took photos of. Al took this photo as well. Now, I want you to notice to the left, there's a ramp going up. And there's a double window with a lady with her head stuck out. That's where the stairwell is. And then to the left of that is three small windows. Al Wertheimer, in his account of this, said that the girls were looking in Elvis's dressing room window, and we were standing here wondering how in the world can they look in that window. But now we see that there's a ramp right here. So the girls were standing right here. I'll show you on the brick. You can see where the ramp was. You can see the, the shape of it right there. The ramp went up stopped there. So they would stand at the top of the ramp right here by the door. You see that right there? They would stand there and peer through that window. That was his dressing room window. And this right here is what it looked like. Check this out. That's her. You see her hands are leaning on the, the ramp, which is close to it. And it was right there. They were peering through that window right there. That was Elvis's dressing room window. That one right there. And that photo was taken out that window of the young ladies on the ramp. Look at them. That happened right here. That is an iconic story. That's where DJ was standing, about where Trey's at, close to that corner right Elvis there. Move a little. Right to, DJ's right here. DJ's right there. Elvis is standing right there. Elvis that there. great was not there back then. Or if it was, you can't tell it. I don't think it was, but maybe it was. He may, he's standing right there about where you're at. You're right. So what we're going to do is go around the corner here, and we're going to go to the front of the theater, and we're going to work on uh, seeing if we can find somebody here. Stay tuned. So we're going to walk down to the front of the theater. I don't think there's anybody here. Administration office right here. But somebody was here because that curtain was more open. Yeah, is there anybody here? Uh -oh. So this right here is a little side shot through the window. We'll just go get some shots out front and see if we can see kind of what it looked like. That's the box office it says. And I think this thing is closed down for the close of the bid. I'm about to have enough of the bid. It's, it's creating some filming problems. But this is the front of the theater. This place is giant. Look at that. Just beautiful. So sadly, I don't think there's anybody here. This is the kind of crap we've got to put up with nowadays. Ridiculous. You don't own Jack that you didn't pay for, son. So we're going to head from the front to the back. This iconic photo happened right on the corner, as we pointed out earlier. This photo happened in the staircase just before Elvis went on stage. And that is Elvis on stage in that theater that same day. Yes, it is. Now let's fly the glory.
So you see it says Atlantic Coastline Railroad, 1936. We went to the other railroad place and the, nothing matched up there. And the lady there was familiar with this place and said that she thought that it was a hallway that's over here on this side. Sadly, they've added all this building to the side and to the back. So we don't know if it changed a lot of it or what, but we're gonna see if we can find somebody here. Because we literally need one shot, and that's it. We're out. I mean, you think that door could have been there? And they opened it up? There you go. Thanks. Yes, sir. Oh, right at the point. Dining. So this would have been it. So there's there's the photo. Oh, that's cool. Elvis I'm was glad here. you say that because I say that on my shows. Yeah, it's on his way out to catch a cat. So yeah. that would have been right down this hallway right here. Yeah, and normally I kind of when I give a tour, I try to tell people. So of course it's changed, friends. But this right here is where it was. Yeah. Yeah, that's Al Wertheimer did that. He followed him from New York all the way to Memphis yeah. to take those photos. Nice. Yes. Yeah. I'm so glad that somebody did. Yes, sir. We found the footer, like it's got to go on. Yes, and that was definitely here. We went over to the other train station maybe thinking maybe, maybe it was there, yeah. but then we determined that it was here. Yeah. So you're saying the building it ended where? Yeah, you can see about, well, I can show you exactly yeah, where. Yeah, let's see exactly. You can see where those glass, there were glass doors there? Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Yes, ma'am. Right right. So the end of the building. Yes, so it would have been right here. So he's about right in this area. Right here is the doors. Yeah, and the cabs would have come out on this side right here. Yeah, so you could see the edge of the building right there. That is amazing. Thank you so much. So friends, this right here is Elvis walking out the door and they would catch taxis. You would go around the corner and catch taxis right over there. You see these walls. You see the way the walls are made right there? Look right here. That's the way they were made. Now this wall is original and it would have looked just like this and kept right on going all the way down here. This had to have been actually you can see this building. And if you go to the edge of the building. The doorway would have been somewhere right about 
here, almost where this thing right here is. And you can see the edge of the building would have jutted out. And so the doors would have been just like those doors on the side of the building, except for it had been here. And there was a wall that came around and took you out here to get on a taxi. Happened right there? Yes, indeed it did. So he would have walked, just to give you another little bit, he would have come from the trains and turned and gone down there. Wertheimer said that he came off the train, he came in, he nodded at him and kept on walking, and he walked right down there. And this is what the train station looks like. Beautiful. Absolutely amazing. Is this thing perpetual? Oh, so there's a motor that's that's. The motor keeps the pendulum in the same plane, though. That's still. The gas is not quite there. What's happening is the Earth is rotating underneath. Mm hmm. Most people just think the pendulum moves, not the pendulum. But actually, the planet rotates underneath it. And because we're close, we're in our. Amazing, isn't it? Up, so that's why it's, yeah. Wow. Yeah, it looks like they went to Chattanooga. It does. It's similar. Yeah, this is back to the and we kept it. We refinished the butterfly canopy. We got six pieces of rolling stock we refinished. Amazing. We got a locomotive. We got the owner's car. This was a private train station. It was privately built. Yes. Yeah. Been restored, and that's what he took, you know, fancy people to go to Red And Elvis Red would do that. He traveled in a, uh, they had like a caboose, you know, yeah. that was fixed up a Pullman car that he would travel in. It's a nice, elegant way to travel. Yes, it is. <laughs> had to have a lot of money to do that. That's cool. I see it. Incredible. Thank you so much, sir. Yeah, Y'all rock. Yes, sir. When we're open sometime. Yes, sir, we would love to. We came up here last night just to look and see what the times were open and all yeah, that kind of stuff. Right, so, yeah, yeah. Well, Wednesday. Thank you. Long. Yes, sir. Yeah, okay. There you go. Thank you so much, sir. God bless you. Appreciate you. So, friends, there you have it. Elvis, no doubt, was here. Not maybe. Elvis was here at the Union Station of Richmond. It was not the other station, it was this one, no doubt. He would have come out of this side of the building, right here, gotten a taxi, they'd have gone out on the street and they would have turned and gone that way. That building was here at the time. This ball was not. <laughs>so make sure when you're watching the weekly spa guy you subscribe you give me a big thumbs up if you like the video and watch the weekly spa guy friends thank you